All right, we got some information that affects the Detroit Lions tremendously. Because we know that the Chicago Bears are trying to trade out of the number one pick. There is no secret. Justin Fields is their quarterback. Shout out to Cuzzo. But will they or won't they? I think if the offer is legit enough, it could be. Now, the Carolina Panthers pick at number nine, and reports are coming out that they might be the most aggressive to trade for that number one pick. But why? Who do they want? Obviously, a quarterback, because they have Matt Corral on the roster, who probably will be a backup. Says the Bears have already spoken to three NFL teams about trading the first overall pick at the Combine. This is according to GM Ryan Pose. I know I can get a, a 24-1 and a 25-1. The Panthers are among the teams expected to be aggressive in trading up for the draft. Now, that's kind of a big deal. That's kind of a big deal. So, Ryan Pose is trying to get two first-round picks. Really? So, a 2024 and a 2025 first-round pick. But what about the 2023 first-round pick? Hmm. Are they trading with the team in their first round pick for this year? So assuming they trade with the Panthers, are they taking three three of their first round picks? Are they getting number nine for number one? Well, wow. So if the Panthers moved up from nine to one, I'm assuming the Bears would get nine, the Panthers 2024 first, and the Panthers 2025 first. That is a haul. But if the Panthers can get their franchise quarterback, who they do not have, then that will be something maybe they're willing to do. All right. Thank you, L.A. Rams. Couldn't get us into the playoffs, but you sucked. Forget them picks, and now you're in a fire sale. Enjoy that Lombardi trophy. More than we have. Sold out for it. They got it, and now they're paying the price. We pick number six. Tankathon has us taking Christian Gonzalez, draft stock, and probably increased over the combine weekend. And I think he is making a name for himself when it comes to rising up the draft boards. But if the Chicago Bears trade out of the number one pick, they would most likely end up behind us. They don't want a quarterback. So that means the number one pick would be a quarterback. Whoever trades up with that team is going to need a quarterback. They're going to take what I assume to be Bryce Young. 5'10". 204 is what he measured at the combine. Which means that leaves Will Anderson, potentially Jalen Carter, who I do not think will be drafted number one. I don't even know if he'll be drafted top five. Let's put it like this. If he's guilty of his accused crimes, he's out of the top 10. If he's not, he could go in the top 10. Okay. The Dern says, feel like the Texans could take C.J. Stroud. Or C.J. Stroud could, could stay close to home and be taken by the Colts, which is what have Tankathon has him taken. It's going to be unique, y'all. This is going to be good. This is going to be one of the best drafts, I think, as far as suspense. These are who Tankathon has the top 10. Will Anderson, assuming the Bears don't trade out. Bryce Young to the Texans. Jalen Carter to the Cardinals. C.J. Stroud to the Colts. Tyree Wilson, another name shooting up the draft boards. However, I doubt that because according to what I've read, the Seattle Seahawks are not intending to franchise tag Geno Smith. And I have heard nothing about a contract. And rumor is that they are taking a quarterback, which is what I said they would do a long time ago. Right? Christian Gonzalez to the Detroit Lions. Anthony Richardson to the Las Vegas Raiders. Miles Murphy to the Atlanta Falcons. Will Levis to the Carolina Panthers. And Devin Witherspoon to the Philadelphia Eagles. And in number 18, they got to take in Brian Breesy. I don't think that's happening. I don't, I don't think that's happening at all. I don't think we take him at all. I just don't. All right. Now, if the Chicago Bears trade out with the any team, that team is taking a quarterback, right? So let's just put Bryce Young there for the sake of 
this conversation. That leaves in between our pick, Christian Gonzalez, Tyree Wilson, C.J. Stroud, Jalen Carter, and Will Anderson. Depending, I don't think the Bears are going to trade with anybody in, in the top five because the Colts can kind of get their guy. The Cardinals are not taking the quarterback. The Bears are not taking a quarterback. So the Cardinals, the, the Colts could stay where they are. The only team that's taking a quarterback is the Texans. So it, whatever whoever the Texans don't take, the Indianapolis Colts will, and they are looking for a quarterback as well. So let's say... Houston, Houston takes or number one takes Bryce Young. Let's say it is the Carolina Panthers. They take either Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. That means that Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud goes to the Houston Texans. Now, here's where it gets good. The Cardinals don't need a quarterback. Their choices would be Will Anderson, Jalen Carter, Tyree Wilson. Ooh, we wait a minute, y'all. This is getting good because. Out of the two teams, oh, my God. So out of the the top six teams, who needs a quarterback? Three of them. The Indianapolis Colts, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Houston Texans. They all need quarterbacks. So let's just hypothetically say that they're – how far has Anthony Richardson shot up? Some people said he could be a top five. He is the Malik Willis of this year. He is (laughs) – He is Malik Willis of 2023. This is outstanding for the Lions because Tyree Wilson, Will Anderson. Will Anderson could be this year's Kayvon Thibodeau only because, not because of anything he's doing, simply because the teams, three of those teams currently and the team that is going to trade up with the Chicago Bears is going to need a quarterback. That's why they're doing it. So that means if you still want Jalen Carter and he is, unless for the sake of this conversation, he's there, you might be able to get him. If you want Will Anderson, you might be able to get him. If you want Tyree Wilson, you might be able to get him. I think right now the number one pick, if it is Carolina, whatever team it is, they take a quarterback. The number two pick, they take a quarterback. I think that The Cardinals is the team that we would have to worry about because I believe the Seahawks, so there's going to be a quarterback fight. There's going to be a quarterback fight for four out of the top six teams in the draft. Whoever trades up with the Bears, the Houston Texans, but no, Davis Mills is the answer. C.J. Stroud, okay, for the Houston, for the Indianapolis Colts, and surprise, surprise, the Seattle Seahawks, that's four potential quarterbacks that could go. So let's say that that fourth is either Anthony Richardson because somebody Malik's will is him, or it is Will Levis. Dolo says Carter will not fall to 20. If he's guilty, yes, he will. I believe that 100%. I wouldn't put it past him. Patty says Young, Stroud, Richardson, and Levis top four picks. So that leaves two, one team, essentially, which is the Arizona Cardinals. What are they going to do? I feel like, y'all, this is what I feel like, okay? I feel like we're, we're going to have, potentially, a repeat of 2020 and 2019. With 2019, Josh Allen went right before T.J. Hawkinson. 2020, Chase Young went right before Jeff Okuda. Wow. And I feel like that either Carter or Anderson would be, on the, would be available at number six. For me, for me, at this moment, I know he's innocent until proven guilty. For me, I'm taking Will Anderson. I don't want... I just, I, I cannot do it, y'all. I cannot do it. Will Anderson is upstanding. Jalen Carter has character issues. So for me, I'm taking Will Anderson. This is going to be a great NFL draft. Your Detroit Lions are in primo position to get an impact player, like somebody you didn't think they could get when they start winning games. 
Unreal. Let me know what you think.